You don't need great skill to be a great artist. I do agree with that. I agree with the motion because it essentially, there's one of the great fallacies of art history is that art is only about a kind of manual skill to deceive the eye. The idea that art is somehow a kind of con or it, it's a form of visual trickery. Skill, of course, is a component of much great art in the past, but it's not the essential component. The essential components of great art are many things. Vision, imagination, intelligence, bravery, sometimes originality, almost for its own sake, sometimes exploring the, the conventions of what art is and what art can be. Sometimes it's a spiritual impulse, sometimes it's mystical, sometimes it's more conventionally religious. This is, this, these are the underpinnings of the art of the past, but skill is simply a means to realising that. If skill were the essential component of great art, then all academically trained artists would by definition be great artists because you can teach skill, and that's clearly not true. Any of the great artists in the Western tradition, from Giotto to Michelangelo to Rembrandt to Caravaggio to Monet to Picasso to Jackson Pollock, they, they're all examples of that. Now, somebody seeing a Caravaggio for the first time would be drawn to the fact that in, by the standards of 17th century Italy, these look almost photographically real. But that's not why they're great paintings. They're great paintings because they have this immense spiritual depth, because actually they fundamentally shift the way that you look at the world potentially. And that was, that was the kind of magic, there was a kind of miraculousness about Caravaggio, it was felt when he first painted and when his work was first seen. I think that the, 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 the um, elephant that stands in the room at the back of this argument is a question about uh, training and whether art can in fact be taught at all. And what are the qualities that an artist needs to have in order to be relevant uh, in a way, purposeful, successful. Success is less important, maybe relevant, and purposeful is more important. And I would say, um, at the back of this argument is the fact that, certainly in Russia and China, the, the basis for art education was an understanding about the French Beaux-Arts tradition, which is really 19th century, where you have to spend a certain amount of time drawing from a plaster cast of a Roman bust a certain amount of time drawing from a bowl of flowers and then maybe you know in your second year you might be lucky enough to, 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 to draw a human body but anyway you spend four or five years doing in a sense a very academic training and with that the idea is that you have then the skills necessary to be a competent artist well I think this is a total nonsense art is not craft Craft is there to make life more comfortable, more livable. Art is there to make life more difficult, more interesting and more complicated. And um, an artist needs intelligence, curiosity, and the ability to constantly probe at the unknown. Everything to do with skill is to do with the known, is to do with tradition is to do with, in a way, doing well something that has already been done. And I think the other elephant in this particular room is the idea, which is a Renaissance idea, that really the way you can judge a good artist is whether they can draw, whether they can make a understandable and uh, cogent reproduction of the way that light falls on objects. In other words, can they do on two dimensions a rendition of a three-dimensional world? Well, this may have been relevant in the middle of the 15th century, but we're at the beginning of the 21st. We no longer need an art that is based on perceptual principles. We need an art that's based on conceptual principles. In other words, the whole origin of the word art is with the word skill and artful is synonymous with skillful. And just because artists aren't making their own work doesn't mean there aren't myriad skills involved in making it. So, you know, the quintessential example, perhaps, of unskilled art is the ready-made, like Marcel Duchamp's urinal, or urinal, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And um, 
where uh, you know I'm, I'm planning to analyze that particular piece and demonstrate the multiple skills that Marcel Duchamp had in making that work. It wouldn't be perceived as one of the most important works of the 20th century had it been just like a dumb gesture or a prank of you know unskilled labor. There's a lot of strategic and tactical skills involved with contemporary art. There are showmanship skills, managerial skills, when an artist like Andy Warhol or Damien Hirst or Jeff Koons is overseeing a large studio. Um, there's aesthetic skills of all sorts, you know, obs keen observational skills. I was in the studio of Takashi Murakami in Japan, and although he was no longer making the painting himself, his eye for detail was so exacting that I almost felt sorry for his assistants after he critiqued their work because they had a hundred little things that they had to do. You know, and he has a PhD in Nihonga painting and he knows how to do it himself, but has delegated it. But one of the artists I interviewed for, uh, as kind of background research for this debate was John Baldessari. He's an artist that I got to know while writing my book, Seven Days in the Art World, and he's kind of an elder statesman, elder statesman of the Los Angeles art world. He's been teaching there for years. You know, as in the 60s, uh, there was a lot of talk of an expanded notion of art, um, and uh, Erweiterte Kunstbegriff, as Joseph Beuys called it, and artists more and more expanded the notion of what art can be. And I think within such a field of an expanded notion of art, there should also be an expanded notion of skills, you know. And there is not only the manual skills, or craft-related skills. It's much more complex than that. There are intellectual skills, there are, you know, uh, skills of uh, dialogue, dialogical skills, there are intersubjective skills. I think it's, you know, there's a whole range of many, many different skills, uh, I think. And I think also one of the things, I mean, as always, <coughs> when I work, it's important to, to look what artists think. And uh, when I prepared this, you know, uh, whole talk here and the conversation about this, you know, motion, I was very curious to know, actually, um, what great artists think? Do they believe, you know, we need skills? And Louis Bourgeois, um, uh, the uh, great artist in New York, she was telling me, and I'm going to read here the quote for you, little by little, he is going to make up the skill. And I think that's a very beautiful idea, you know, this idea that maybe it's also to the past. Skill is not something which is just there, but it's something which is evolutive, is a process. Uh, it's to do with learning. There is uh, um, uh, an expanded idea of skill means that all of these things very often it's the mix you know which uh, uh, which uh, which makes it uh, which makes it happen and now ever increasing we have also the technological skill you know we have Xiao Fei an artist in China who develops more and more work in Second Life um, and she has developed R&B City it's a whole project she does in Second Life so here you know technology and doesn't I mean we can also go we can go totally into the present and into the future but we can also go much further back and I mean from the Renaissance elevation really of drawing and, and painting to the status of liberal arts until the period then of our you know modern age we can say that the requirement of great skill on the part of the artist means mainly mainly sort of skill of the of the hands you know and it has also to do with a representation of the external world that was before you know photography uh, and I think uh, uh, Ever since you know photography was invented, and then throughout the 20th century, we can say that you know um, uh, art got away from this idea of it being about you know representation 